How can you be called nothing? What's going on? Is my game hacked? everyone, it is Cyberforce and welcome back to another episode of Boom Beach and today as you guys can see I actually did change up my base I'm going to see how this base is going to be working out and if this base actually work I'm going to show you guys a little speed base build to show you guys how I built this base and show you guys the defenses and the strong point and the weak points of this base so that should be pretty interesting but this episode is going to be all about task force operations because well recently we have been taking down the operations relatively easily and that is something that's uh, quite remarkable yesterday for instance we actually almost took down stronghold it was very close let's actually take a look at this final attack that we did on dioxin and as you guys can see we made it all the way up to this part of the last base so i think we did really well i think we should have probably cleared out a couple of buildings here and there and then we could have made our way to the end so uh, we've been doing pretty well there and then today we actually took down operation foxtrot within 25 attacks which is really awesome. At least for us, that's really awesome. I kind of figured it would be a nice opportunity to show you guys some cool attacks. I honestly have not been attacking myself because I usually attack when it's afternoon for me. And uh, this one was initiated about, well, let's say 16 hours ago. That is evening at my time. And right now it just is past noon. So I didn't have any chance to attack whatsoever so that being said let's just jump into the first attack i'm gonna go through the attacks that are most interesting and then show them to you guys in this video so right now ronnie actually attacking this base this is black river somewhat of a easy base he actually goes for the mine down there of the left side uh, goes with the warrior strategy i think he's going for the middle section over there which kind of makes sense deploys the smoke Goes up to the shock launcher, as you guys can see, actually made it up there safely. And then the rocket launchers over there aren't really that threatening. Um, I think you should be careful of those rocket launchers at the right side. Are they going to be firing away? Doesn't seem like they are. So right now, uh, Ronnie's actually in the ability to take out several of these rocket launchers over here. Doing a ton of damage on Black River and actually gets taken out with the last rocket launcher. So that was a very, very nice attack. Then Rathon over here started to attack Paradox, which is a different type of base. And the note's actually really funny. It says, uh, go around the back, don't try to do what Sam did. <laughs> well, this is what Sam did. We're gonna take a look at this one right now. So, <laughs> don't do what Sam did. I'm really curious about this. So, what did you do, Sam? Sam went straight on for the shock launchers here and that's something that you shouldn't do for sure So that was pretty funny. Uh, I think what Rathom did over here was actually take out majority of these power cells here at the back And I think a rocket launcher too. Let's go four times the speed here to uh, not having to wait for a long long time deploys the smoke Gets up to the sniper tower. Does he take it out? No, he goes straight for the rocket launcher and I'm really curious to know what's going to be happening here. He actually shocks the second one too. And goes for the third one. Very nice tactic down there. And then I think he's just going to go and take out all of these power cells over here. Which he really did as we saw on Sam's attack. So Rafan over there gathered a lot of energy to uh, do a lot of damage onto mines. Then after that, let's actually continue on Paradox. Paradox, 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 Paradox over here. Majestic. Is actually using Heavy Zuka to continue the attack on, uh, on on Paradox over here. And I'm really curious to know what you're going to be doing. He's going for the left side here. Actually gets hit a little bit by the rocket launcher. And deploys a med kit to kind of heal up here. Then destroys the sniper tower. Another correctional flare. Destroys some of these power cells obviously. And some additional energy so that way you can actually make your work here. A little bit worried about this rocket launch as you guys can see. It actually is firing onto the heavies and they're doing a ton of damage. As you guys can see one rocket launcher can potentially take out a, 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 a heavy like halfway. And this is a little bit dangerous. Didn't have enough energy for the flare straight away. There's one heavy left and a couple of Zookas here. And I think that is about where we're ending this attack from Majestic. Very nice attack. And then after Majestic we had G-Man with the tanks and medics. And uh, um, he's actually having 93% gunboat. So he boosted up his gunboat, I think. Or had like three or four statues or something like this. Curious to know what you're going to be doing here. I kind of think that he's going to be going for a lot of power cells. Because I did see him take down 23 uh, buildings over here. And these medics are not really doing anything. These medics are actually pretty worthless right now. So um, 
This is actually taking a long time. Hopefully he's going to be taking out uh, like some sort of other buildings over here. I'm just going to see what's going to be happening after he takes down these power cells. So um, goes for the sniper tower it seems. He does get some damage here and there. Uh, it seems that he's actually able to take out these sniper towers over here. And then after that I think he's going to be making his way to the top there. I'm not entirely sure. He, let, he kind of keeps them moving. Okay there, there comes the flare. And actually moves to the top there. So I suppose he did some damage there. But unfortunately the time ran out. Then the attack after G-Man was Axel. And Axel actually used Heavy Zuka to make his way up there once again. Actually takes out the power cell just now at the top with a single artillery. I suppose that's a nice exchange. Uh, I like what I did, what he did with the smoke there. Kind of making sure that he doesn't get hit by the uh, rocket launch over there. Okay, right now some rocket launchers are firing away. So he kind of stopped attacking the power cells. Goes to the sneaky back attack here. And now things is pretty interesting because there's a, a bunch of uh, bunch of uh, boom cannons still active down there. Actually taking out the uh, heavies with a breeze. So I suppose we need a couple of attacks more in order to take out the base. And that was Paradox. Then we were at Quantum right now. Quantum uh, Meme Swimmer actually using 64 Warriors to do take out two buildings. And I kind of know, I think... He's going for the shock launches, but let's actually take a look here how he's going to be going ahead and approaching this base I think he's either gonna be going for the rocket launcher or the shock launchers Not entirely sure yet. I think he's going for the rocket launchers here Takes both of them out then tries to make his way up to the rocket shock launchers Luckily takes out a couple of mines in front of there, but doesn't succeed on taking out the shock launchers at the same time That was meme swimmer and then after Meme Swimmer were at Quantum, 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 yeah, we had Jake. Jake having 4 Scorchers and 44 Zookas. Interesting attack strategy. One that I haven't really seen uh, that much in Task Force Operations. So let's see how this one's going to be going. Uh, the 44 Zookas are definitely going to be packing in a bunch. But you got to be very, very careful with mortars, machine guns, and of course... Uh, the uh, machine guns, uh, I mean the rocket launchers, but as you guys can see, the Zookas are actually doing work, but the mortars are extremely deadly, as I already mentioned before, doesn't make it onto the second layer of the defense. After Jake, we had Rudolph, I think Rudolph Heavy Zooka, this might be interesting attack, and then PJ taking out the base. Uh, PJ not losing a single building over here, so let's take a look at Rudolph's attack right now. You guys might hear some background noise or anything like that, uh, but that is because the neighbors are moving in the street that I'm living in. So I apologize for the sound inconvenience that you guys might be hearing in this recording. So let's see what he's doing. So he goes for the shock launch, he drops a couple of barrages here, decides to shock that little uh, section over there, actually manages to make it up there. And as you guys can see, after that is taken out, all you need to do is use Heavy Zooka or something like that. Uh, to take out the uh, the the, uh, the power core and all we needed on this last attack is like a couple of barrages and artillery to take that one out So that was a very nice attack and then I see three attacks on duality One from Jacob, one from Pilip and one from Tanton Haber Now I actually want to take a look at this one from Pilip because it's only Zuka And I'm really curious to know how he did this So let's take a look here Ghost for the Mines Interesting. And... Huh? Oh, of course, you're deploying them at the right side to kind of make sure they all gather together. This is really great tactic. Look at this. This is definitely a very experienced attack, as you guys can see. Pilip is doing everything within his power to kind of gather up the Zookas together. And that is just really, really great strategy. Props to that, man. I would have never thought of that. Ever. So uh, we have a seasoned veteran attacking right now. Really curious how this is going to be going. The smoke looks kind of good to me. Uh, very nice smoking. Doesn't get exposed. Ooh, does get hit for quite a bit here by that machine gun over there. A little bit sloppy on the last one down there. But I'm interested to know what you're going to be shocking here. So everything is directing onto the uh, power core. And right now it is firing away like a boss. Everything that's multi-targeting hitting. Like shock launchers, mortars, machine guns, rocket launchers. Are all fired away. And look how much damage he's doing. He's fully under siege by everything. But does a ton of damage onto this base. And that's why we've actually been able to take out this base. So Pilip, 
you actually are the MVP of duality for sure. And then, of course, Tenton Hammer comes to uh, clear, clear out the base. We still are left with Black Hammer, uh, Black River. And right now, Leader comes with an interesting troop combination. Rifleman, Zuka, Heavies, and Medics. I'm curious how you did this one. So. Goes for the rocket launcher, takes it out. How do you go after that? Do you go to the left? Do you go straight ahead? It seems he's attacking this base head on here. A lot of boom cannons firing away. Rocket launchers. I mean, a flamethrower is in the mix as well. Deploys a couple of critters here and there. Uh, actually clears out the entire front side here of this base, which is pretty nice. And then after that, I feel that we can just snipe this headquarters or this uh, power core after we took down uh, these two buildings in the front right now. So that was a very nice attack from Leader. We're going to be advancing onto the next attack from uh, I5MB. And he actually took down two buildings. And I kind of I suspect that were those buildings. But he goes with a really weird attack combination. One warrior and then heavy Zuka. I don't know what's going on there. But let's take a look here. I think he's going to be taking out the cannon and the boom cannon. And then gets wiped out. But the Zukas are going to be doing a ton of damage here. Onto the power core, actually almost taking it out. So that was pretty interesting. Very nice attack. And then, of course, after that, it got wiped out by Boom Soldier. Then I think we got one more base left, and that is Armadillo. So let's take a look at the attack of Gala, uh, Galahad Lee attacking this base. And then after that, Gator Claws is taking it out. Now, this base is actually a little bit challenging. But as you guys can see in the back here, we actually took out a couple of things here with Warriors, I think. And right now using Rifleman Heavy Zuka to uh, tackle this base. He actually did take out 10 buildings. Curious to know what 10 buildings he actually managed to take out. I'm just going to keep on moving. Some cannons, machine gun, flamethrowers. Uh, deploying some critters as well. There's a boom cannon there. Well, he actually did take out a, a good chunk of buildings down there. And then Gator Claws, after this attack, actually wiped out this base with two Scorchers and 18 tanks. Let's see how he did. I think he did boost up stuff. So I'm really curious to know how you did this one. Because uh, that must be some skillful attacking right there. Goes for the boom cannons. That is interesting. He doesn't even shock them at first. Right now actually does have them shocked. First one goes down. Going two times the speed. Deploys another shock. Also shock at the right side there. Basically going for all of these strong buildings. That are... Hitting pretty hard. I mean, the Scorcher is level 8. Everything is maxed out with Gator Claws. But, you know, he's doing a ton of damage here on these buildings. And the uh, one thing that I notice whenever I say, whenever I see Gator Claws attacking, his attacks are very well thought out. Like, he really knows what he's going for within his attack. And he, I, I th kind of think, I, like, he's strategizing uh, in advance how he's going to be doing that and he deploys a flare here right now to kind of get rid of the right section over there I feel and there are th maybe there's like three flares there I'm not even sure about that deploys another flare I think yeah he deployed another flare to actually go for the uh, power core and as you guys can see he's just going to be able to take out the power core just like that very clutch Attack from Gator Claws, but uh, I really like what I saw there. So in my opinion, it is P-Lit and Gator Claws doing the most interesting attacks on this task force operation. And that is how we were able to take out Operation Foxtrot in 25 attacks. I mean, even for a top guild or a top task force or anything like that, I think attacks like these are pretty decent. Of course, we could have been a little bit better, but I think we have been doing really nice work on this task force operation. And that's going to be doing it for this episode of Boom Beach. I hope Hope that you guys enjoy if you guys want to be joining us we guys we actually got five spots available for you guys and um, we're looking for higher level people out there so that way we can take on these higher level task forces and gradually move our way up to that end and so on and so forth so uh we're definitely in there for the long run and uh we've been building up i mean ever since the task force operations came out we went from um we went from all the way here i don't even know what they're called uh to operation foxtrot right now which is very nice progression and later on we're going to be going for stronghold sour grapes and so on and so forth so that's going to be doing it for this episode of boom beach i want to thank you guys so much for watching and as always make sure that if you guys like this video to boom, give it a thumbs up and that being said this has been reversal for boom beach i'm gonna be signing off and i'll see you guys in the next one